Alright, this is a full moon, wolf moon reading. I haven't done one of these in a while. And it's for Aries. Alright. So there's going to be some self-reflection. Inner power. Um, transformation and protection. This is going to be in the sign of Leo. Which is going to be interesting. And your card is going to be cheerfulness. Um, Noel has ever been high for a tiny chipmunk. Let him inspire you to embrace your sense of adventure and face each new situation with joyful uh, optimism. <laughs> optimism. Optimism. Okay, so my dyslexia is hitting early today. Anyway, this is going to happen around January 25th. I'm doing these early, so you know, you know what to watch out for and you know your inspirations and all that um, start to show through for the year, um, starting off with January, of course. But this year is going to be a little bit different from others. We're going to have a lot of lunar eclipses and a lot of solar eclipses. You have to look for the dates. I think I posted it on my Twitter or X account. So, um, there's, there's all those things. As you know, I don't do lunar eclipses, um, often. So the, the whole style of the reading changed for those because I already kind of meditated on those. Um, the solar eclipses I might do this year, actually, because I do talk about the sun, um, images a lot, and the seasons of the sun sometimes in my readings. So, I might do those, too. Um, <laughs> so, right now, Aries, uh, your first question is, what is the greatest, what is your greatest inner strength? We have, um, lightens and ease worry. There's also... Um, moves to be, become a great parent. Either you have fur babies or you have actual children. Um, also, you might be thinking about marrying somebody who might be a good parent to your children in the future tense. So, you might be looking into that. You might also love kids yourself. So, you're looking for somebody who is, you know, matching your um, love of children or having a family or whatever. Okay, how can you step into your own power? You have nothing to fear but fear itself, and there's other options affecting your decisions. So, you have to understand that you might be over-engaged um, in other activities, either at work or actually in your professional life or social life at the moment. You might not exactly be ready to settle down. <laughs> you still might be making a check happen at your career. You might also be trying to make a career move that is more beneficial. That's more of like, I own the business, but I'm not working for the business too. I have some entrepreneurs here. <laughs> I myself am an entrepreneur. I've been saving my money. So you might be doing that at the current moment in time. All right. And I will be kind of going back and forth on a lot of issues with Aries. I've been having a little bit of issue myself, like having like headaches and stuff in certain situations um, around certain people. So you might also be kind of getting rid of a lot of people in your space that have been um, kind of wasting your energy or making you feel tired, which is a good idea. Or not spending too much time around them if they're like family members or yours or something. But there's somebody that's like giving you like kind of a little bit of a hold on your own energy, which isn't good. You should have enough energy to make it to spring. Let's put it to you that way. Um, so what traits can be more celebrated? Um, finding emotional support from your partner if you have one. Um, also ideas and inspiration. I feel like you're not really looking for inspiration 
or you might just kind of be bored um, with the goings on of everyday life. You might not have any inspiration or ambition at the moment, which since it's winter, you kind of slow down with um, being ambitious. But you should make a vision board or a motivation board, which helps you. Like, it's kind of like taking your own About Me page and making it inspirational. Which for a lot of people is like, what the fuck are you talking about, Karen? No. You're taking stuff that you like, making it inspirational for other people. Like, say your favorite thing is snowboarding. You're going to take that and be inspirational with either teaching somebody snowboarding, teaching techniques that you learned, teaching things that other people wouldn't know starting out with snowboarding. Let's put it to you that way, okay? So you're going to do all that stuff. If you like sewing, you're going to give them, like, you know, stuff about sewing, secrets and um, habits that you've picked up over the years. Stuff like that. Stuff that makes you more inspirational or more of a leader in certain things. Because what intentionally you're doing, if you're looking for a business or you're trying to start a business, is that you are training your employees before they even sign up. Okay, it, that's a little weird thing, you know, ambitiousness. But, um, yeah, technically, <laughs> you're getting people hyped up to become part of your business or be hyped up enough to teach or learn or actually show other people what you're doing and then have them work for you or have, you know, kind of that ambition to, you know, do their own thing that's similar. You're basically draining your own employees or your own competition. But at the same time, it makes you more ambitious to try new things. All right. So the last one is, where can I take a bigger risk? We have financial security. <laughs> you probably have like a few dollars. I have a few dollars too. Um, and there could be evil eye energy. You might need to get rid of this evil eye energy. And actually not be around negative people. Clear your energy. Do some smudging. I do smudging every day. I haven't done it today. I do it after my readings. But yes. Um, do some smudging. Um, smudge every corner of your house with the windows open. So then you don't have that negative energy like in waiting in the wings to come back around. You know, But you need positive energy. To do great things okay so since we're doing tarot card readings today um i will be doing it after my readings so then i have momentum education and energy to actually go forth okay so it's good after you get like off the computer to smudge everything too because you don't want to kind of have that zombie energy either so you might want to do that if you're watching a lot of TV or watching a lot of YouTube or other things like Twitch. Because um, you want to have your own energy. You don't want other people's energy. Um, other people's energy could have toxic repercussions. So, anyway. Um, Aries, this has been your <laughs> self-reflection, inner power, transformation, and protection um, for the full moon coming in January 25th in Leo and it's gonna happen early it's gonna happen like uh, 54 minutes after midnight so that's gonna be a lot of fun um or noon I don't remember I think it's noon at noon time on the 25th of January okay anyway I'll see you in the next reading Hopefully everything works out all right. And you think about like what you want to do this year. It's supposed to be a lucky year. We have a lot of lunar eclipses, a lot of solar eclipses. So like think about <laughs> stuff that you want to get out of your um, lifestyle and people that you want to kind of, you know, get out of that energy that you're in and be more ambitious. So then you're not wasting time with like people that are not 
on your same same wavelength because if there's people that are fighting the grain that's going to be a problem for you if they're going with the grain and kind of helping you out giving you encouragement kind of being there for you it's a better thing than actually having like naysayers you know because if you're being ambitious the last thing you want is somebody telling you you can't and then you have to prove to them that you can and then that takes up more energy and more um, time that you could be relaxing or like regenerizing your energy okay anyway i will see you later okay bye